Hey Garden City fam, we are so excited that January 22nd, we are starting a brand new series about the Church of Antioch. I wanna take you right into the word, Acts chapter 13, one through three, so that we can see one of the main scenes that help us understand what was going on at the Church of Antioch. The Bible says, now in the church that was at Antioch, there were certain prophets and teachers, Barnabas, Simeon, who was called Niger, Lucius of Cyrene, Manaen, who had been brought up with Herod the Tetrarch, and Saul. As they ministered to the Lord and fasted, the Holy Spirit said, Now separate to me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. Then having fasted and prayed and laid hands on them, they sent them away. Antioch was one of the main cities that those in the early church scattered to after the persecution of Stephen in Jerusalem. And over the next several weeks, we're going to be looking at a few things. One, we're going to be looking at the historical significance of the church of Antioch. Two, we're going to be learning about the key attributes of some of the main leaders of the church of Antioch. And three, we're going to be learning about key characteristics of the church of Antioch and how they did ministry that we can learn from today. Over the last few years, studying the Church of Antioch and the blueprint it provides for ministry has been one of the most valuable things for the leaders of Garden City as we have just really stepped into the vision and mission that God has for this house. As you heard, even during our first message of the year uh, here at Garden City, we are not just looking to build a church that's going to bring people in to gather, but we're looking to be a church that sins. We're not just looking for a community of members, but ultimately a community where every single person knows that they are a minister. We want to come alongside the calling, the gifting, the anointing of every single person in this community. And the Church of Antioch gives us the ingredients necessary to do that effectively and to do that in a way that's going to bring major impact for the glory of Jesus Christ and his gospel. We're expected for the fruit that's gonna come from this series. We cannot wait to see what God has in store. We look forward to going through it with you. God bless.